that was a pathetic last clap, but oh well. We're on the final episode of the Five Potter series. Now what about? We're good. Anyway, so <laughs> the last and final episode is the hardest would you rather game for people who love TV and movies. Let's go through it, shall we? Watch a TV show at home or go to the movies. I like going to the movies. I love the popcorn. Do I have to say anything more? But I do like watching TV shows at home because it's more of a, I'm in the comfort of my own home. I can wear my pajamas. I can be really chill. All those types of things. I can still have popcorn. Yeah. I mean, I love going to the movies. Don't get me wrong. But I'm happy to sit in the home as well. Fire alongside the Starks and Game of Thrones. Have not seen. Or the Avengers. I'm going to say the Avengers because Black, Black, Black Widow, baby. I love Black Widow. Oh, I don't like Captain America, but Black Widow and Hawkeye. Love those two. Yes, please. Binge watch, binge watch an entire TV series or binge watch a movie series. I have binge watched an entire movie series. Haven't done that for a TV series. The movie series I binge watched. Binged what I am butchering that word more and more and more. Um, it was actually Pirates of the Caribbean. I watched it with my friend because she hadn't seen any of them, and I was like, "Excuse me, how have you not seen any of them?" We're sitting our butts down and watching every single Pirates of the Caribbean movie. So we did that. Um, I mean, TV series you could probably see more of them depending on the TV series, but movies is probably I find movies a lot more fun to binge watch. Yeah, I saw that coming. Mary, Jim, from The Office, have not seen. Or Jack Dawson from Titanic. I mean, Jack Dawson from the Titanic, he was a beautiful character. Can't say anything for Jim, but... Yes, I wonder how many people voted because of Leonardo DiCaprio and not because of the, act not because of the actual character. That would be interesting. Mary Buffy, or... Or Princess Leia. Princess Leia for the win, honey. She... Yes, queen. I am marrying her. Screw the vampire side. I don't care. Princess Leia. The absolute beast of a woman that she is. Revel... She's just... Oh my god, she's changed life. In women. In everything. She's an amazing character. She's taught us that, yeah, yeah you know what? You can still be a princess, but you can be a badass girl as well. And you can. Does she have the force? I can't remember. You can still, you know, fight. You can still defend yourself. You can still be awesome and still be called a princess. So, yes. Spend money on a streaming service or spend money on a movie ticket. Again, this comes back to the whole do you like watching TVs at home or do you like to go to the movies? I think as a gift. Movie ticket, cool, sweet, really nice. Uh, more. See, I watch YouTube more, so for me, I'm kind of like Netflix. I prefer movies, but there isn't a lot of movies out, whereas I'm more on Netflix. I'm gonna say movies anyway. Have the Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things as your enemy, or Regina George from Mean Girls as your enemy? I don't know which is worse. <laughs> The stuck up, stereotypical, excuse my language, but bitchy character. Or this. I mean, one, they're the same thing, this just needs a blonde wig, and there we go. I would probably prefer to have. Which one would scare me less? <laughs> That's the real question. I feel like the Demi Gorgon would be fine. I would prefer the Demi Gorgon and not Regina because I feel like Regina would be horrible. Read a book that's becoming a TV series or read a book that's becoming a movie. Ooh. Um. Read a book. So become a TV series or become a movie. TVs are a hit and miss. Movies are a lot better when it comes to books, as I explained in the first video I did. Be with the friends gang or be friends with the Mamma Mia girl. Uh, the friends gang, how fun would that be? I'm sorry. 
Don't get me wrong, I'd love to sing with the three ladies and Mamma Mia. But I mean, the friends gang, hello. I would throw off the dynamic, but how fun would that be? Also, this is just water because I donated to the Australian Blood Service Red Cross. You guys should donate. That's. You guys is not sponsored, I'm just saying. That's for Australia if you want to donate. I recommend donating. You save up to three people's lives. Why not? <laughs> Plus, you get free food after, so like, hell yeah. Honestly, I'm. Again, not sponsored, nothing. Just being honest. Their food, 10 out of 10. But, um. <laughs> The people there are always so nice, and I've been doing it, this is my third year now, and it just feels nice because when your blood is actually used, you get a text message being like, hey, your blood was used, so mine was used in Melbourne to help out this, I think it was a teenager? So it was really cool to help someone my age who needed my blood type. So it was cool to get that text message and just to be like, hey, you actually helped someone. You actually, your blood saved someone's life. I was like, holy. I have a blood sister somewhere. <laughs> it's weird, but cool at the same time. And last one, before I get distracted. Be stuck inside your least favorite TV show or your least favorite movie. My least favorite movie is Romeo and Juliet, the one where Leonardo DiCaprio is in it. Hate that film. Like, I am. I get into passionate conversations. I like to say arguments about them. It. It boils my blood. What's my least favorite TV show? I don't know if I have one. I'd have to say Neighbors. Another one? Yeah, Neighbors. Or, um, which is an Australian TV show. Which is the other one I hate. That's the thing though, I don't really hate TV shows. I see, I, like, I pretty much like all TV shows. Um, I don't really like swamp people or swamp person, whatever it's called. Um, so if it had to be either one of those. I'm gonna say my least favorite film because Romeo and Juliet I love with all my heart. I just was mad that they made it was like a satire or they made fun of the series, which I did not like because again, if you didn't know, I love William Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet is one of my favorite art. Pieces I've, I say art pieces because it is literal art to me that William Shakespeare has done, and to see it ruined like that got me so mad. And I was like, if "You're going to ruin something? Don't ruin literal, literary art. Go ruin something else, like Cinderella. I don't care. Okay? You don't ruin Romeo and Juliet." Great, awesome. Le glad we had that conversation. Just want to drink some water. Stay hydrated, y'all, and have something to drink now. We gotta stay hydrated. Anyway, that is the end of this five-part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below and tell me if you want me to do something like this, or even send me some quizzes you want me to do, or some games, or anything you want me to do that I can make into like a little series. Cause it's nice to have like little short series like this. But yeah. Anyways, let me know in the comments below anything you want me to know. Anyway, jar out, jar out. See you guys in the next video. Boop. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. By the time you're seeing this, I should be either back from Phuket or I should be home. I don't know. But anyway, I am up, up, and away, so... Woohoo! Bye, guys. <laughs>